Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick tech video here. Uh, so if you follow the channel, uh, you you know that recently I had to do a cam and lifters uh, on, on this engine here. It's a 454HO. And uh, I've got about 50 or 60 miles on the car now. So I've been just going through double checking and triple checking, you know, all the torque on my bolts and uh, all everything associated with what I had to take apart here. So anyway, uh, one thing I discovered that... Uh, my PCV valve was bad yesterday. Uh, you can hear that guy rattling away there. That's a good one. I just replaced it, so mine was stuck. And when you have a stuck PCV valve, it can give you a whole host of different issues. Uh, fuel consumption issues, oil consumption issues. It can blow up gaskets. It can give you a surge at idle. A lot of different things it can do if it's not working properly. So it's a really important piece of the vacuum system on these cars. Uh, now the newer cars, uh, they're part of the valve cover nowadays, so it's, uh, so you would have to change the valve cover in order to replace it. But on these old cars, uh, it's a really cheap deal, quick and easy fix. Uh, like I say, it's three seconds to check this thing and no tools required, but it's often overlooked even by the best mechanics out there. So, uh, on this uh, carburetor here, this is a 750 Holly carb. It's got provisions for the PCV valve, a large port on the back of the carb. This particular carb also has a large port at the front if you uh, choose to plumb it that way. Uh, if you're running an Edelbrock carburetor, they're all on the front to, uh, to serve the PCV valve. Uh, but just like the name implies, positive crankcase ventilation. Uh, it has to be on there. It's a really important piece of the whole deal. Uh, I recently had a friend that uh, built a 468 big block for his 70 Chevelle. And uh, he actually, he, he omitted the PCV valve. He totally forgot about it. And when he hit freeway speeds or highway speeds with the car, uh, the breather on this side would actually blow oil all over the engine compartment. And, uh, and it was just simply because he omitted that piece, so I helped him sort out, uh, you know, he also had some vacuum issues on the car as well. But uh, yeah, a really simple, quick, little, easy thing, and often, often forgotten, even by the best guys out there. So just check yours. Uh, it's a good thing to, to just check these little things once in a while like i say it can give you a whole host of weird little issues so anyways guys i thought i'd uh share that with you i found out that mine was bad i hadn't checked it for a while so uh yeah just a quick little tech video for you thanks for watching